Hi there, beautiful soul. If you're in the journey of uh, emotionally uh, healing yourself, then there are a lot of traps that you can fall into. A common one that I call is thinking emotions and feeling thoughts. What is the difference between an emotion and a thought? Very often I ask people to journal and when they journal they notice the negativity inside of themselves. Maybe that negativity has been suppressed by their positive thinking or maybe they just want to get rid of it altogether somehow. So you become more in contact with what is actually happening inside of your body. But if this negativity keeps going on for hours and hours, it's very destructive. You can start to project it on other people, to letting it out on other people. But that's not really helpful at all. It's destructive. And it probably as well pushes away the people in your life that are trying to help you. You, I, Well, I do in my, uh, in my recovery program, I teach you a technique to resolve emotions, to really feel them, to ask questions uh, towards the emotion after you've found it in your body. And if you haven't released it after, let's say, 20 or 30 minutes, then move on with your day. Do something else. Don't stay in the negativity. It's not helpful and it probably makes you, probably drains you. Or if the emotion is very heavy and it is almost out, then you can expect some sort of a fatigue coming, an emotional fatigue. If that is the cause, that is of course not really, really that negative. But you can come back to it later and try to find as if you can find the feeling, because the feeling is not a thought, but a feeling is always accompanied by thoughts. But the feeling itself doesn't really need that much. It needs to be felt and the thought needs to be thought about. So if you're finding yourself thinking about all these emotions all the time, you're not really feeling it and it becomes very destructive. And a constructive way of dealing with emotions is to really feel it. And you can do that by the techniques that I, that I offer in the program to really give it what it needs and to interact with it to eventually because there it's a sort of a separation be, be, between you and a, and, a, and a stuck old emotion to become together again so that there are new boundaries in your life new possibilities and then healing can happen of course and if this is very difficult for you then i can help you in a coaching session but preferably you really learn the things that that i talk about or that i give you as an example and then ask maybe your your partner to to be that coach for you while you're having while you are dealing with an emotion maybe you can say wow i feel the emotion in my, in my stomach right now and then your partner can ask the questions for you oh <laughs> there's an animal and uh yeah that that is that is so healing and if you can do the same for your partner or for a friend then your relationship will will grow very fast will become stronger you will understand each other better there's more acceptance and respect for for each other's feelings and emotions and you can say hey i think you're resisting an emotion right now i think maybe you're even projecting it on me maybe we can heal each other and find the feeling in our body and if it's not released after let's say 30 minutes or if journaling is not really giving you contact with an emotion and you stay in a negative loop then do something else you can rewire it you can or you can rewire your brain for example via this neuroplasticity technique that i offer on this in the seventh module but you can do also lots of other really beautiful nice things like for example if you have uh, did, if you've done the technique with your with your partner then cuddle make something nice to eat go to a beach watch the sunset go to nature and do something pleasant something calming something soothing instead but if you yeah, a, lot, a lot of people they they become so negative and that is because the emotions that are underneath that those thoughts are really powerful then i think those emotions that are really powerful they have something to do with the illness but dealing it with it this way is, is not helpful at all so sometimes i'm in a coaching session i'm not able to to release the emotion some people are unable to relate to their body at all so they can't find it maybe only superficially 
some people do a lot of drugs and they have detached themselves from their body almost completely so they're living in their mind fully so then it's almost impossible and sometimes i manage to release an emotion let's say anger to really get you to to these emotions and emotions are short emotions emotions are not something that you have to be in for the rest of the day if you really feel it it resolves upwards and then you feel light you you have the lightness after that you have the lightness that you were looking for the, the calm mind for example and when i really manage that with clients then sometimes their symptoms disappear completely and when i manage it with myself when i have a, for example a groggy bad day i feel better immediately so if that is not the case then either rewire or come back to it later but don't stay in this negative zone all the time it's not helpful well this is what i wanted to share i wish you uh, a beautiful day i wish you peace and maybe if you want to prepare yourself for emotional healing then do some body scans bye <laughs> <laughs> it's so old with my pen. <laughs> I made I made another movie where I was doing this with the pen the whole time. <laughs> Maybe you can find it. <laughs>